have said in regards to Twitter in the fact that um, it's number one social. That is absolutely it. Um, you want you want the engagement, the connection. <clears throat> That's why I've started actually doing, um, you know, more. <clears throat> One of the things that I have found is that with social media, at least with with Facebook, is that there are specific strategic times during the day to put out your information, whether it be hey, good morning, or uh, whatever, but there are strategic times. Um, one is like um, you know 6 a.m. One is 9 a.m. One is noon. And one is around 4 or 5 p.m. My time. Um, so I'm always doing something in around that time, whether it be just a, a post. Tip, typically, well, the noon one is going to go be anywhere between noon Pacific time to about three o'clock. And so that's why I run what's called through uh, Facebook Go Live. You've heard of that, I'm sure. Um, and I have actually done a little bit of research and found out that if you, you know, it, it, it runs the same, I mean, social media is social media. Um, if you, um, in fact, I don't know if you heard this, but um, Instagram, I don't know if LinkedIn is doing this anymore or, or yet, should I say. I know Twitter is doing this. I know Facebook is definitely doing this, where you can actually run a go live on those different platforms. Instagram's a little bit funny, but I know that um, at least those three right now are running go lives. Um, and according to the... What is the word I want to use? It starts with an A and I can't think of it. Um, oh my goodness. Um, when you're rating when you're getting ratings and all that kind of stuff and it starts with an A and I can't I can't think of it. It's just gone view. Um, but as far as, as um, and I think that Twitter works the same t way too, but with Facebook, um, they will um, Facebook will evaluate ha your connection with others, and that's why, and I don't know if you've heard this lately, everybody's getting into the likes and the shares and all that, that's great, but Facebook is more concerned today, and I think this has just recently changed, is more concerned today with the comments than they are with the likes and shares. So when you get more and more engagement, we're back to the engagement thing, um, when you get more and more engagement, um, which goes through your comments, then Facebook will say, oh, okay, there's a connection going on. And then uh, because of doing that, it will start pushing you out to, you know, more and more people to see what you're doing. Well, the thing about the go live uh, is that, and you know, whether it be, you know, I, I, I don't know how Twitter is, but I'm going to guess social media, you know, just like you've said, social media is social media. But if you run a um, a video will get a higher placement than just, let's say, a picture. Um, a go live will go above uh, a video because it's all, again, centered around uh, engagement. Now, one of the things that I've just found out about, um, and I think you might have said that, I don't know because I didn't hear hardly any of what you said, um, but um, one of the things that I have um, just recently found out is that, um, where did my, my brain just went, um, oh, come on. Ah, I cannot believe I just went cold. Well, anyway, the comments is the one thing, uh, and the go live. And what was I just thinking? But anyway, with with Facebook, it wants to push out information so that you're getting more connection. And if you follow, oh, I knew what I was going to say. Um, I know at least with. With everything that I've looked in in Facebook, 
the one thing that I have found out that um, Facebook is starting to put a thumbs down on is any time that you put a link into your ad or your video or anything else, the whole concept with Facebook, which probably is Twitter too, is that if you're redirecting somebody out of Facebook into a link somewhere, they are not, you know, you, the whole reason on Facebook is keep people engaged, keep them going in within the profile or the, the platform of Facebook. And if you're putting a link in there somewhere, that's redirecting people outside of Facebook and you've just got yourself a low rating. And that's why I've gone back to, um, you know, you know, how I put my information out. That even includes, you know, uh, ads. If people want to get back to me, they can private message me. I mean, that's the thing about Facebook. So I will put out something, you know, like um, uh, something to put the carrot in front of their eyes and if they want to, if they want to know more about you or about what you're doing or you know that kind of thing, then they can private message you um, because your name is attached to everything that's on there. Uh, not only is your name attached, but your um, page is attached too. So now they've got two ways of getting a hold of you. If they're interested, they're going to connect with you. Um, but that go live is a is a really important thing. I'm running go live right now Monday through Friday, um, and um, I'm keeping it like at the same time so everybody knows when I'm going to be showing up. Um, so that's a big important thing. Um, the other thing that I have just recently found is that if people put out let's say a picture or something like that. One of the things that Facebook, and I don't know why, but I just, like I said, I just found this out, is that if you put a picture out with a border on it, they have just put you on ground zero. For some reason, I don't know what it is about Facebook, but they hate borders. So if ever you put a picture out with a border, don't put a border on there. Um, and I see a lot of people doing that, and I, you know, I know where the rating is. Because it, Facebook even put out a live, um, you know, if, if you put a border on, you're, you're going to lose your rating. I don't know what it is, but I have a feeling it might be um, that it somehow it's trying. It's kind of the same thing as a link. Somehow you are taking somebody else's picture and putting it on here to blast people with spam. I have a feeling that might be the reason there. Um, but I agree with you. Um, engagement is the important thing. And um, so like with, with me and Facebook, if somebody comes back and likes my page or somebody comes back and says hi, I will go back to that person that has said hi or liked my page or whatever it might be, and I'll say, hey, hi, thank you for uh, joining me. Um, just interested or, you know, something like that. Uh, just interested, what what was it that you liked about it? You know, to get them starting to talk and then, you know, that's the same thing as you're saying right now. It's all about connection and uh, communication, not blasting people with stuff. Whether, you know, to be good, bad, or whatever. But that's the whole main thing of social media is social media. And I think that I really agree with you. In fact, I went wrong at the very beginning when I was, uh, going out there, um, you know, just as a sidestep, you know, for me, for Twitter, where I was going wrong was I was going out there and following everybody. And I think that, you know, because then I'm getting, I'm not getting as much engagement as I want to. And it's not, you know, you can't follow everybody because they're not really necessarily in your sphere of stuff. I mean, if I, if I follow somebody that's, yeah, if you will, just as an example, something is, you know, into the stars and all that kind of good stuff, and it had absolutely nothing to do with me. Number one, how am I going to communicate with anybody on that? I don't know anything about that. So if I hone in on what I know 
then that means my communication with that person is more um, is going to be greater than you know inviting people, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Um, you, you're inviting people that are like-minded, so not necessarily that they work from home. Uh, for a prime example, when I'm running my go live, I have never, ever, ever brought out the name Ameriplan ever. But what and the whole big thing, and I think Twitter works this way too, is that you are branding you, not your company. And where my heart has always been is um, the success of people, whether success may be dieting or budgeting or family relationships or whatever. Success is success is success. So when I'm running my whole life, they can apply what I'm saying to where they're going. Now, I do bring out that, yes, I also work from home. That might be where you are as well, you know, so that, that they're saying, oh, okay, she's not pushing her go, you know, work from home, but just saying we're all looking for success. Like yesterday, I ran a, um, a go live on what are the words after you use I am. And that got yeah, really a lot of good engagement. But if we're looking at success, what, what kind of words are you using after you use the words I am? And I'm getting them thinking and generating. Now, the other thing that I do um, is that um, I have gone into Facebook and I have, um, you know, uh, joined other groups and that kind of thing so that after I've done my go live, and put my edit my information at the top. Now I know at that point what I want to do is let them know how to get back to me. So I may say, um, if you want any other information, join me at Success Solutions. And that's you know th that then they know where to go rather than putting my link in there because that's not what Facebook wants to do. But they're connecting with me. If they want to connect with me and they look at my information and um, they want more information, that they can private message me. That has happened quite a lot to me. Um, you know, and I will take a sidestep. Facebook has done another thing whereby you, you know, if you've developed at least 100 likes in your fan or business page, you, they now have an app in your business page where you can actually post jobs. Now, I don't keep that in my page because it, um, I don't want, you know, it, it's in probably the same thing as Twitter. It's got this, um, what is it, 80-20 rule, 80% um, um, information, 20% ad, um, and I'm careful with the ad. Um, but, so when I go in and place the ads, I can hide that from my timeline, and yet people are getting information out. I'm getting anywhere between 20 to 40 applications a day. I'm to the point that I can't keep them all. Okay, so that's another avenue that Facebook is using um, to generate getting more and more, you know, active, uh, you know, involvement in what's uh, drawing people into you. But that, to me that um, um, job versus actual Facebook, to me, is two different entire um, areas, if you will. Um, but I really like what you're saying as far as engagement, because that social media is social media, and that's the same um, basis on, I think, any social media. I think out of all of them, LinkedIn's the most tricky because LinkedIn um, LinkedIn has more um, business-minded. It's not just the general chit-chat, uh, and you've got to remember that. I'm, I'm not saying you've got to remember that. I mean the general people need to remember that because uh, that's just the, the, the whole um, basis of LinkedIn. But so that's that's why I'm where I'm using um, Facebook now. On Facebook, however, and I found out that I could do this on Facebook. 
um, what I have done, and, and you, it's not necessarily on my Victoria, let's see here. Let's see if, if I can move you over. I don't know if... Uh, I don't know. Let's see here. Hold on one second. Um, let's see. Let's go over here. Okay, I have done it on my on my uh, personal page, which is Victoria Garcia. Do you see my background at all? Probably not. No, not. Okay. So what I have recently found is now I put all my pictures together. Um, you know, uh, you were mentioning the two different links, and I'll listen to your recording so I can hear it even more clearly. But um, one of the things I do for pictures, which I use for Twitter, I use for, I mean, what I put in Facebook, I also put in Twitter as far as the pictures are concerned. But I use a um, device called PicMonkey. Have you ever heard of that? Uh, okay. So if you go to, let's say, my, my, um, my personal page, uh, Victoria Garcia, you will see my pictures there, my handwriting there, um, you know, and I was able to use PicMonkey to create my own picture. And then the other thing that I've done on my picture is I went into Google and I found like a click now. And the reason for that is if you click on your profile picture in Facebook, um, it's going to open up a section where your, your uh, picture will go to the left, and then it will have a section, a section on the right-hand side um, for description. Now, there you can put your link because it's not plastered right there in Facebook. Mm -hmm. And so you can you can put information. Now I what I have done is this is Victoria. Um, success solutions, I've done the same thing. Then what I'm also doing is that I've got one group for um, you know, people that I'm I'm specifically working with. I have another group for my team. So they can always go back to that information, which I'm adding information every day. So and then one of the one of the groups that I do are that are people are interested in what I'm doing. I'm always putting something in there, um, just to you know say hi. Because again, if we're forgetting the social aspect of it, we're forgetting the pieces of Facebook. Uh, we're forgetting the basis of communication. <laughs> you know, uh, um, you know. So I will. Um, I'll do, hey, good morning, and, and all those kinds of things. I will even, you know, people who have joined the, t the group, I'll say, hey, uh, we just got a new member to our team and introduce the name. Um, and that I, I, I do that for two reasons. One is I don't have to go back to their private page and message them and say, hey, if you click on this group's name, then um, I'll – or I've just added you to this group. Well, by just putting their name in there, they're going to get, because I've already tagged them, uh, they're going to get a message from my group and be able to respond, and it reduces how much time I have to go back and forth, back and forth. That's another reason I have done that. Um, I also put information, because that is the Mises basis of that group. Um, so I'll also put information about, you know, different aspects. I don't I don't do the whole kit and caboodle. I, I give a little piece of a carrot here and a little piece of carrot here. Um, and and that way that there's, you, you said it so well, it's all about engagement, you know. And that is the other thing that I think that where people are going wrong, because I have seen people, like in Facebook, they come on, uh, let's say, Monday through Friday, but the whole weekend is gone. Well, 
if you're engaging, you know, share, say something on a Saturday and Sunday, you know, because they want to be able to say, hi, how are you doing, whatever, rather than you kind of disappearing. Now, I'm not saying that you have to do it both days on the weekend. Um, it is a good thing just to kind of keep active with what you're doing, whether it be taking kids to the park or whatever it might be. So they can connect with you and see what your life is all about and what's happening and that, uh, that kind of thing. So it doesn't have to be work-related. It could just – because, yes, they're seeing your work-related, but they also want to see what what is it about you that I want to follow, you know? Um, what is your lifestyle like? And that's the basis of the whole thing um, is that they're connecting with your life. And I, I think for me, I, I've learned more and more. Um, I was – as much as people don't know Vicki, um, I was a very private person, an extremely private person. I would give the placards and all that kind of stuff, but the deep heart and, and really sharing me, I still have that as a challenge because, um, you know, that's, that's vulnerability. That's putting yourself out there. You have to be wise, sure. Um, but people want to get to know you, and 